How do you take advantage of an analog circuit when producing in the box? In this video, we're going to learn about analog summing from puremix.net. Plus, we'll tell you how you can enter to win a free one-year subscription to their premium audio production video library. Hi, I'm Sax, and you're watching Wink Sound. All summer long, Wink Sound will be sampling the best of audio technology with weekly giveaways and video releases. This week, we've teamed up with our friends at puremix.net to give away a one-year unlimited access pass to their library of premium content. If you already subscribe to Wink Sound on YouTube, you're automatically entered to win. If you haven't subscribed yet, just click the subscribe button. Now, Fab from puremix.net is going to explain how to insert the dangerous 2-bus into your Pro Tools rig. 16 channels are converted from digital to analog so I can stem my audio out. Then the 16 channels coming out of the converter are going to my patch bay and are normaled to the inputs of my 2-bus. Then, the stereo output of my 2-bus, because the 2-bus does the summing, gets patched back into the converter so it can go back to the DAW. I'm going to create two new stereo tracks, one stereo aux input and one stereo audio track. For input on the aux, I'm selecting input 1, 2. That's where I patched my 2-bus into on my patch bay. The output of that goes to a bus that I call print. The input of the print track is print, and the output of that final track is going to be my main monitor. You have to solo save these two tracks. Command click on these two S's right here. That will let you solo in your session and still listen to your final mix. Lastly, this is called the input monitoring button. You're listening either to the input or to what's coming from the track. For those of you who don't have Pro Tools HD, you can do the same thing. Same setup, aux track, print track, same routing, same spirit. The difference is you don't have the little I button to toggle the input monitoring. The way you do it is you set your print track in record and use option K, key command, or that menu up there to toggle between track and input monitoring. If you get confused as to which mode you're in, either track or input, easy. That square there, if it's green, you're on input. Now if you press record, the whole mix will get recorded onto this track. Once you've recorded something, when you remove the input monitoring button, you are now listening to what you just recorded. So you can now compare what you recorded and what you're doing right now. Wink Sound is your source for free music and audio technology videos featuring Pro Tools. Join the conversation by following Wink Sound on Twitter and YouTube to keep up with everything you need to know about music and audio technology.